So, whoa, whoa, we are on. We are live. We are going. It is Monday night, and this is a very quiet title screen for Faith Chapter 2. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited uh, to see how this goes compared to the last one, you know, and then there's going to be a third one, which will be even better. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Not too much of a preamble. I'm back again for Monday Night Horror. I skipped last week because it was crazy and I was feeling sick. And uh, I'm again wearing my Scary Game Squad shirt because I don't wear t-shirts very frequently in my regular life. So it's fun to wear them in a place where people will see it. <laughs> but anyway, we will begin the game. And, you know, I don't know if we'll get through it. I don't know how long this game is. He's my guy. I love the way they walk. Is there a ghost? Remember there was a ghost in the mirror? That was crazy. Jesus. Jesus. I want to see it in the mirror. There it is. <laughs> Bam. Alright. Father Garcia. You are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have been already or er, have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Can I use something with the Bible? No. It's just because it's a different color, it's so noticeable. <laughs> One day. Or like, the first day? Or day? Slash day? We got a little boy. Alright. What else do we have? Two weeks. A little more gremlin going on here. Three months. He is a full goblin. Okay. Is he like- is that like a possession thing or is that like a- he got bit by a, a gremlin and now becomes one, you know? I don't think the church would care. I think maybe they would. I don't know. I would love to know the church's opinions on various monsters and ghouls and how they would deal with it. That'd be weird. That'd be a weird thing to know. I like how he's like... Pandevo? But how about Jesus? Um. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, shoot. What? What? Ooh! Pfft. Oh man, that's the boogan from. The last one that was running around. Oh. Are these the same pictures? Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> that was creepy. I was like, why is it black? What does that mean? The lights are just off. Is this a door? Or a closet? Is that something? No? It's just nothing. Don't worry about that. Okay. I was wondering if our handy dandy Bible would help, but I think we're just we're just running. We're just like, hey, get back here, kid. Jesus. Oh. What are you eating? People. Hmm. What? <laughs> Oh, he runs away! Whoa! I love their little- I love the voice! 
You got not wrong, e hole. All right, we're back, back to the blue. What's his name? John, something. I don't remember his title. It's you know a churchy title, but I don't remember if it's a priest. Deer, whoa! That deer is gonna run my ass over. Jeezy Pete. What? What are we looking at here? Is that a deer head on top of a tree? You need Jesus. Uh huh. Notice, ad or aviso. <laughs> I don't know why I put a D in there. All right. The current investigation being conducted at G G G Gallup. Okay. Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, only any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. This, uh, what's it called? The Kinetic Historical- Connecticut? Not Kinetic? The Connecticut Historical Society seems to, like, potentially be aware of what's happening, but also I don't- Oh. Yeah, I like how they're like, don't go into the graveyard! And we're like, okay, let's go in. Just walk right in. How many of these have ghosts? Oh my god. What's gonna chase me? I know I'm gonna get chased by a, a, a monster guy. And I'll be like, what is that? And then it'll be like, here's a freaky realistic th thing. And now you can see exactly what it is. And I'll be like, ooh. <laughs> uh, Alright, just, just give a little, little Jesus to all those. Alright. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Wow. It's a regular statue, huh? Dearest disciple, Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Okay, a lot of demon stuff. Alright. Thus, you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest, says Gary. Well, Gary, that's a, you know, that's a pretty straightforward list. He's just like, do these things and then, you know, get a rest. I'm gonna walk in that place, but I'm gonna look around. <laughs> I feel like that statue's gonna come get me, but uh, maybe that's just me. Whoa. What is this? It's locked. What? But I can just walk around. I guess I'll look for a key. I don't know. Do I walk? Let me just, let me just sate my curiosity. I just wanna look. Look off to the side. It's the woods. We're gonna look up, look to the other side. I'm sure it's like woods, right? It's all trees and stuff. Look at him go! Woo! -hoo. All right, we're good. Go inside the creepy thing <laughs> and stop wandering around. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, this is the save temple. I just realized it says that. Or what do they say? Memorial. Mm, enter the spirit house. A eh? I'm sorry. I wasn't ready for that. Do you need Jesus? Hola? Te quieres Jesus? No? Okay, well. Mirror. Did they just die? Oh, they're the disciples. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think you guys just died. Oh, and I think that, uh... I think these got a little more evil looking too. Okay. We're all good. I have a key, maybe. Did I notice this before? Wait, what's over here? <laughs> Wait a second, what is happening? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Alright. 
It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was in uh, Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in uh, Voluntown. I don't know, Voluntown. No, not particularly religious. They thought their children, or they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Til Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will, be, will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and their twin boys, Nate and Jason. Wait a second, that's the family from the first one. <laughs> oh no! Amy's okay though. So that's good. Good job. I didn't shoot you. <laughs> Man, wait, how did they die? They said it was an accident? Really, that's not... That's not something? This isn't... Oh! Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, little thing. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I apologizing to it? It's literally like, I'm a ghost or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, help me. Um, there's like a whole other side to this. Do I walk through? I'll just walk through. I don't know. What? 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 Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Whoa! Yo! Yo! What is that? <laughs> oh my god! More D's. Like, I want to make a cookie cutter that's the shape of this guy. That would be really cute. A little little uh, priest guy cookies <laughs> I wonder how that would translate in the cookie cutter but I don't know I think it would be cool It'd have to be big yeah go away I like how he's like flying around though that's crazy oh wait he's gonna come from the bottom oh he's coming from the top yo get out of here go away go away go away go away oh shy 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 Yo! Oh my god, he's like flying by. This guy is too fast. Uh, yeah. Jesus, help me. What did he say? Whoa. Oh my god, hold on. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Oh, Not even a little happy. Even my doctors seem to be judging me. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's like three sentences of sadness. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see his strange- or I'd see this strange woman- his strange woman, no. I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. Yeah, that's rough. After I lost the baby- <sighs> After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. Oh. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. That's so weird. Like, <laughs> I know it's supposed to be weird a little bit, but like... I just think the part that's weird to me, which is probably the most mundane part, would be like, to be a person who's pregnant and then like... <laughs> forget and then be like oh no i'm not pregnant anymore and then you see someone you've never seen they're like i'm pregnant now i don't know that weird me out hello hello happy sprung break hello <laughs> i know it's spring break yeah jay chillin for jesus <laughs> uh 
I have that key, right? Oh, I'm still gonna go over here. Whatever. Hmm, <laughs> the statues are very spooky. Jesus. Just gonna toss that up as many times as uh, necessary. It's my only thing. There we go. Alright. Whoa! Oh my god, look at the graphics. Clouds? Clouds in this game? Freaking unexpected. Where the hell- you? Ah! Nope. Leave me alone. Is it scared of me? Oh shit, where the fuck is it coming from? Oh my god. Oh, I can see it in the clouds. It's hiding in the goddamn clouds. Oh, <gasps> it's hiding in the clouds! The fuck? Okay. Whoa, shice. That's a far away time to go. Okay, well, anyway. Let's go fight this cloud baby. Okay, he's hiding in the- I was so distracted that there were clouds. I didn't even think about why there were clouds, like, you know. Just like Final Fantasy VII, why are there clouds? Just one cloud. <laughs> I don't like its, like, baby screen. It's kind of sad. Ugh. Stop screaming! Okay. What? Ooh, where'd he go? It's like stuck in the corners. Ha! Was that a baby though? <laughs> like. Let's read this note. <laughs> Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That my uh that night. That night my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. Friends have Yep. That, that's grammatically correct. It just sounds strange in my brain. Her friend's house. Yep. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only, it wasn't actually him. Of course. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay, and they say they have to work. They have work for me to do. Well... That's kind of cheap. <laughs> They're like, it's like being like, Hey, it'd be cool to go into business together, right? And you're like, yeah, okay. And then they're like, you owe me a million dollars. You're like, why? And they're like, we're in business. <laughs> Just like, oh. I get it though. But like, yeah. They, I don't know. How old is that person? I guess a person who's old enough to have a grandfather. I don't, I never had a grandfather. They all died before I was born, so I don't know how old that is. <laughs> Whoa. So like, what is this though? I don't understand what that is. Okay, well, we'll come back. Come back. I still have a key, maybe, I think. I got it from a mirror. A very evil looking mirror, so you know. Trustworthy. <laughs> uh, this game's very great. Wait a second. What if I like went in here for like no reason? Just for like fun? Also, because it says save. Yeah, okay, look at this mirror. This guy. Oh. Oh, there were three guys, and now there's only two. I was gonna make a, a statement about why, but I don't have one, so. Also, these things had like evil eyes, and now there's only half of my evil eyes, so. There's something going on with that. Again, I, I can't speculate. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not on top of it yet. How long have I been playing? 20 minutes, okay, yeah. We're not, we're not at speculation mode yet. Let me in. But I had a key. Did I? Did I? 
What? Mm -hmm. Huh. No, I had a key. I saw a key in the mirror. I think that's what happened. And I assumed that meant I had a key. No, I saw a key in a mirror. <laughs> gotcha. But what? Okay, so we got... There were three guys in... Okay, okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. In the mausoleum sitting area, there were three guys. And then I looked in the mirror, and it was like, yo, you got a key. And I was like, whoa. And then I turned around, and then those guys died. And then their souls, like, ran all over the place. And then I fought one guy with the big tongue. And then I fought a little cloud baby. And I'm assuming there's a third guy now that I need to get, and then you get the guy, and then I get the key, or I... something, something, something. <laughs> Develop that theory for me. <laughs> there, it's somewhere. I'm close, I think, maybe. Look at him walk. Look at him walk. Okay, where's... So there was a le there's a, like a left side and a right side and an upside, but the upside needs the key. I could leave, I guess, and like walk around. There's gotta be like another part that I'm missing. But I I don't know. We'll look around. We'll just look around and calm down. I'll get too stuck in my brain thinking about it, and then I'll just get all confused. We just wander around and chill. Let's go back over here, because there was just the one guy. There's like nothing. Oh look, it's like my head. Look, haha! These statues, huh? That's nothing. This is nothing, because I got the guy. Okay. Well, man, the clouds look cool as shit. I really love looking at them. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Maybe this is something I need to figure out. You know, that would make a lot of sense, right? <clears throat> this is a puzzle, and it's not just, like, a confusing thing that I believe. Like, I wonder if there's, like, a- ah, if you go up, or if you go... There's, like, an order, right? Oh, yo! Did you see that? Oh, butts. What did I say? <laughs> Jesus! Whoa! Oh, god. Jesus, help me. Okay. Yo! What? Jesus Christ! Ah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, yo! I'm dead. <laughs> oh, Mortis. Okay, but we found him, so. The end of the day. I was like, whoa, did you guys see that? And then it was like, fight this guy right now. And I'm like, yo! Um, what was the way to go? Shoot. I'm just gonna wander again until it works. Alright, so we get close and then he's gonna be like... Be ah! Oh no, he's so fast! Oh, I hate you! My silent scream because my throat's ruined! <laughs> I, I woke up with, like, no voice this morning, so... hi yay yay Oh gosh, go away. Okay. Yeah. Give me a note. I wanna know your story. I've been freed. No more overbearing father-turned-violent alcoholic. <laughs> no more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. Who? Everyone? Okay. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by the beings of pure darkness. Okay. 
I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign. Drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. Do I need to remember that? Hold on, I'm... I need notes. Hold on. I don't know what's important. But, uh, I'm a note taker. I'm a note taker. Oh. I haven't, I haven't played a game that needs notes in a while, so it's good. So we've got- oh my god, there's like dumb shit on my desk everywhere. Alright, what do we say? <laughs> so it's this Conjuring... A very good film, but also an action. So we just do a star, upside- uh, well, I'll just write pentagram. I think that- it means the same to me, anyway. And you start... First at the top- Okay, let me draw one really quick. So I can like- and you start at the top left. Is that the left? No, that's the left. This is number one, and then you go down to the center. Then point down. Okay. And then this is point two. Okay. I have that. Just a note. <clears throat> I didn't even finish reading it. I got too excited. I will lure them into the woods, and then I will show them my power. Yeah, this person's cocoa nuts. Uh... But anyway. So now I'm assuming there's no one inside the mausoleum that says save, where I also save. Yep, nothing. Oh, my reflection's there though. Ooh, it's like, gotcha, bitch. Oh shit. Is it gonna be nice or mean? Just go, just go. That's mean! But do I have the key? Oh, I'm bleeding. Yeah, I got the key though. No. Ouch. I'm just bleeding everywhere. Everyone's gonna follow me and be like, look at this idiot bleeding everywhere. <laughs> I'm in the woods too. You know, that's like the worst place to be bleeding. What is that door? Uh, well. That answers that question? Maybe? I don't- Oh. Wait a second. No. What? <laughs> wait a second. I just like couldn't see part of- This is just- Oh. That's crazy. What? I just wanted to say, ha, you got me. Alright. Uh, but that's wild. Okay, so that mystery gate is actually secret second half of the graveyard. Cemetery? Is there like a technical difference between those words or is it like pretty much the same thing? I definitely use them interchangeably and I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> I should look it up. Did the tree run away? Jesus. Alright. Okay, well, the tree. Sprinted off. I wasn't ready for that. And then the music stopped. So that's... That's what that is. <laughs> oh, one of these trees is fake. Oh, one of these trees is fake. Jesus. Jesus help. Okay. Just kidding. There is no Jesus helping me right now. It's just the power of myself. That's kind of a really non-Christian sentiment to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus is here, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he is. I don't know. These are all normal trees. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. These are all fine. That's just a total fake out. Oh my god, and I fell for it like a big dingus. I'm sorry, was that a purple man? Do I chase the purple guy or do I go in the house? Oh, there's a note. Oh my god. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. The purple person or...
Oh my gosh, what's the game plan here? <laughs> Go in the house? What did it say? What did that note just say? Can I look at that, actually? Oh, yeah, I can. Uh, okay. I can only read one note? Wait. Oh, okay, I could sw sc scroll through them. I don't know, switch. This note is missing. Alright. Uh, no, give me that sweet, sweet red note. Yeah, alright. She guards the door to underground purgatory. Okay. Okay, so she has something, something freaky that, uh, kids don't like is gonna guard the door. Confess thy sins. Well. Well, well, well. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill church. Oh, this is a church. Okay. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was, sorry, but there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk to the church from the, or walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. You guys are idiots. Okay, but anyway, um... <laughs> What? So don't trick her. What? Walk the room- walk the church from room to room. Maybe you'll see her, so she might not always be there. She will move when you do. Never try to trick her. How would I trick her? I mean, juking? Does that count as tricks? Oh my god. Alright. We have all these candles. What is that about? I don't know. Let's walk around. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this- oh, wait a sec. Okay. So this candle, you know, is over here, and now it's over here, and I went from that room to that room. So I'm assuming that's me, but the other one, is that the ghost? Is that how that works? Anyway. Oop. Get out of here, ghosts. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. <laughs> They're like, oh, this sucks, but I also can't leave, so... What is this? I can open it, but I can't go in? Oh. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. It did say to confess, huh? But my fear soul in me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. What? A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will hear in my minutes. Bring the child to me. For his mercy and yours forever. What though? What? Where am I? Is this something? Oh. Wait a second, who was I talking to? What are they saying? Bring the child. Who? The girl? I don't think she's even a child anymore. <laughs> what? I like how I'm just like, let me sit in this thing and it's like, hello, let me talk to you. And I'm like, this is normal, I'll just confess like normal. I mean, hmm. This might be weirder to me because I'm not Catholic or 
Christian or religious. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time understanding. <laughs> anyway, let's read a note. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth, oh there we go, leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off, boards off some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it onto tape very well. Yeah, you can't hear it on tape very well, but to us, the sound stopped and it scared me. It kind of sounded like laughing, laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Yeah, those guys died. Like, for sure, right? Or got eaten by cultists. What's that pew sound? What does that mean? Oh. Ah, it's freaky. Okay, anyway, I'm like so obsessed with these candles right now. What the? The? Oh shit, she's right next to me. Okay, but anyway, this was a secret, right? Is that a secret passage? Did I see someone just crawl in there? Oh, this is a different room. What? I can't tell, like, what's what sometimes. Okay. What is this? It's just a- Oh! Oh, there's a note over here. Night two. We're gonna be rich. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh. We've caught some supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying to trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. I mean, to be fair, you probably will, actually. <laughs> um, I was in a hotel like a thousand years ago now, but I was watching- Okay, sorry, that freaking door so scary um i was watching a tv show and i don't remember what it was it was like a random tv show you watch in a hotel tv and it was literally just like a compilation of internet videos that was like this is a ghost but it was just like stuff it didn't seem ghostly to me it was stuff where it's like this window just broke for no reason and i was like oh that's weird so you know if you sell it to that type of tv show yeah it'll probably probably make a million dollars or they'll pay you like twenty dollars because they know you're not worth nothing um <laughs> okay i think she's gonna get me and i'll just die instantly and i don't know how this works so Fingers crossed we don't die. Um. <laughs> These candles are freaking me out. Okay. Hey, there's a lot of crosses in here. Big cross. Blah! With an eyeball. Oh, something fell down. Jesus. Hey. Eh. That seems bad. Nothing else in here, huh? Just, uh, creepy stuff. Okay. Okay, I hope she's not in the room. Oh, she's in the- she's right behind me. Oh, she's gonna get me. Okay. How do I get into this? I wanna get in there. Um... So do I- <laughs> Oh, yo yo yo. Do I want to see the ghost? Or am I running away from it? They said she guards the door, right? Was that what that note meant? Back to notes. She guards the door to the underground. Purgatory. I have not seen her. 
what is I hath not seen her? Like your eye, because it's like eyeballs, eyes, right? So, like you can't see her. Is she invisible? Or is it like if you see her, you die? So no one's seen her because they just die. You know? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. What have I left? Ha ha ha. What if I chase that purple guy just for fun, just to see like where he went? Why is he going meow 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 meow? What was that? I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I'd find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little the little graves anymore. I thought that's in staves. Okay. Uh, I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. Poetic. Uh, I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child! Ooh. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained, my, uh, drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever it was, uh, because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Damn. Oh, I can look at it. Oh, he's cute. I like scarecrows. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> there is. So I take the train to Escuela. Um, every day I go in. And there's like this next to the train tracks. There's like a stretch of train tracks um, where there's like the trains, the tracks that we use, and then there's like the tracks that seem. I think they're abandoned. I don't think they're used anymore. And like there's like a strip of land, and then a wall, and then there's like houses beyond the wall. It's like a brick wall. And there's like like on this side of the wall, next to the abandoned tracks, there's like a bunch of like homeless encampments and they have like kind of an elaborate setup there it's pretty sweet but what freaks me out every time i see it is they have erected a bunch of like very humanoid scarecrows on poles like like around their camp so like you're like you know you're on the train and you look by and it's like you know everything's kind of speeding by and all of a sudden there's like what looks like a person but it's like not standing right it's kind of like you know, like its head's all fucked up, and it's very freaky to see, and honestly, I, it off it's off-putting. <laughs> um, and that's, that's my day-to-day -day commute, just walking by those scary scarecrows. Okay, let's go fight the ghost? Have I gone in all the rooms? I think so. Let me in! Okay, let's go in here, because she's in here, if that's how that works. Okay, she's running away from me. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what the goal is. Come find me, ghost. She's behind me? Oh, man. Wait, it said don't try to trick her, though. Wait, these are all fixed. What the heck? What the heck, heck, heck is happening? Yup, okay. Sit in a chair. We're in the same room. We're in the same room. She can't- I can't see her. Oh, bitch. Oh, no. What? Something's wrong! Is that what that means? Oh, god. Oh, god. <laughs> okay, well, I think I got it. Um... Terrifying. What the hell? All right. Oh. Do I keep these notes when I die? I wonder if I like check. Uh, what was the one I got from the? Okay, no, I don't think I keep them. That's fine. Oops. Whoop whoop. Okay, 
We got this. We know how to get her now, though, I think. So she's just gonna, like, pop up all over the room and then just, like, get you. Just be like, yo. Man, that's... Ugh. Spooky. We're in the room right now. Shit, she's gonna get me. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, she's so fast. What's the goal? Run away? More teeth. Hmm. So damn. Okay, lady. Okay, spindly lily. So scary. All right. We just chase her down. We're just like, ooh, come on. Stop running away. We're in the same room. She's gonna get me. Okay. Crap. No! <gasps> oh, I can juke her. Ooh! Okay. Okay! Ooh, we're figuring this out. Oh, wait. She juked me. Shoot. Here we go. She's gonna get me. She's gonna get me. Okay. Okay. I kinda- mm -hmm. We're getting some strategies here. Woo! We're getting some strategy. down here though darkness surrounds thee hmm that's fun this is my final memoir hastily scribbled on the page of the good book i now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead again who checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. It sounds like your watch is broken, but I'm not gonna say that. That's a mean thing to say. That's like a, a guy who doesn't believe in ghosts would say that. I definitely believe time doesn't work uh, around the ghost realm the way it works here. So, you know, I'm on board. I'm on board with this. <laughs> God's work be done. I have seen, nope, I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark. A foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. I feel like a lot of these notes are pretty standard until you get to the last part and then it's like a weird thing. They just say something really crazy, so. Mm. It's dark mode. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, look at that. What does this mean? Ooh, sorry. Nope. I don't- I don't want that. Okay. Just chase this guy, I guess. This sucks. I'm gonna die. <laughs> More teeth. Shit! I don't know what this means! <laughs> what? What? There we go. But what? More teeth. Okay. Is it like run? Wait, hold on. Does this mean anything? Maybe. I'm not gonna pretend like I understand that yet, but maybe I'll need that. Because there's all these symbols, right? And then I go here and now. I don't need this sound. <laughs> what is happening? Um. Okay, I'll read that note. I'll pick it up. Yeah. 
Because what's the symbol? Let me see if I remember. If we go down to this thing. It's like a... I don't know. These all look very similar. Yeah, okay. We'll come back. If I need this, we'll come back. I don't think I need that. So we have Jesus, alright. So there's like, okay. The distortions... No, that's... No. Alright, look. All the symbols are busted, right? What if I stand on this? Oh wait, that doesn't work. It's like crazy shit. Wait a second. What? <laughs> I'm thinking thoughts in my brain. Oh, wait. <laughs> hold on. What if I did this? Okay, hold on. What if there's a right path? Cuz I step on the I step on the swirly one and it gets all messed up. Oh no, I picked the wrong ones. Get on the thing. Okay. Well, this is crazy though. This is a whole crazy zone. So I think, was this one bad, the one above me? No, okay. Oh, you see how close it is? Oh my God, okay. Yeah, touch all the symbols. So, okay, hold on. <laughs> We're taking notes again. This one's okay. That one's okay. This one, okay. This one, good. And that one. Now, we go back to this thing and compare the symbols. All right, now if I look at my paper here. Da, da, oh. Oh, there, oh, whoa, 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 there's a, okay, the ones that are okay, no, no, no. Are they all there? Shoot, okay, hold on. This might be literally telling me how to do this. So if I did this, 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 um, down to the two arrows, what if I, but in potentially, swirl, plus sign, and then a box with a little box, and then three arrows. Uh, I can't describe these symbols very good. Then, I don't know what the fuck that is, like a, like a squiggle, the most squiggliest of them all. And then we've got a constellation or something, it looks like Cassiopeia, kind of. <laughs> and then, like, this eyeball. And then a circle. Okay, maybe that's what I need. Maybe. You gotta like touch all the symbols in an order and then it's like, good job. Okay, let's start from here. Put my notes right in front of me so I don't mess it up. Okay, so we do this. We do this. Then we go here. Then we go here. Then we go... Uh, this one. Um, to this one. To squiggly wiggly. <sighs> okay, this sounds scared me. Yo! What does that even say? Mother of demons, looks like, huh? With, I'm assuming these are bodies. Right? I can't believe I figured that out. I can't believe it was like, I don't want to look at that thing. And then it's like you look at it. Always read the instructions, kids. <laughs> what? That's where that let out? Tree. 
Is that tree gonna run away? Remember when that tree ran away from me? That was scary. Um... <laughs> now we're just in the woods. Deer! Oh, I'm gonna get pummeled by deer. Okay. Well, there's rocks. 